Art Kane was a pioneer of conceptual photography and conceptual portraiture. And in doing that, he freed photography from the limitations and boundaries of literal interpretation and, and literal representation. There's many iconic images. Um, some of uh, the music photos, for example, uh, the Who wrapped in the British flag is a very famous picture. He had a knack for coming up with ideas that, that people like to be a part of and, and, and that photographers all wish that they had come up with. I think his vision channeled universal truths and he had an uncanny ability to see things from the inside out and then to freeze that essence in the click of a shutter. He would always say that a personal point of view was really everything in a picture and, and that you, you really had to get up close and in, in the face, so to speak, of your subjects and, and definitely don't take no for an answer. For music photography, for example, he, he always said that performance shots were a waste of time. Art Kane would, would never photograph a, a, a performer in, in concert. He said, um, if you want to shoot a performer, you have to grab them, you have to own them, and twist them into what you want to say about them. He came up with this big idea to call for a group portrait, to call for everyone in jazz to meet at a certain location, and, and that he would shoot a group portrait. They showed up at 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning, hoping that a, f a few people would show up. Um, I think they were all kind of bowled over to see that 58 of the greatest names in jazz actually showed up. I'm really proud of my father's role as an agent of social change, of social awareness. Social justice photography was so important to him because he really believed in equality for all people. Because Art Kane's images are timeless. They, they, they exist out of time. Um, they, they speak to the ages. They, uh, they may have been shot in the 50s, 60s, 70s, even the 80s, but they don't reference that period. They, they, they dig in deeper than that and speak to universal truths.